How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own plot system for your Minecraft Realm or World. A lot of people have been wanting this video out, so here it is. It's finally here. And uh, before this video starts, I'd like to say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I know I said that earlier already, but again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We're already at like 10,300 plus subscribers, which is literally insane. But yeah, this video does help you guys out. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys do want to join the Discord, link will be in the description down below. The Discord is is fun it has a lot of people in there from my tiktok instagram youtube wherever you want to come from just join it have fun it's a fun community anyways let me show you guys how this thing works so behind me as you can see i have a little plot system right there like oh yeah people could go build that plot but i don't have the plot access I, ca I can't go in there as you can see i'm gonna start running in there and it'll just teleport me back to this like little area i tried to go around the other side as you can see it won't let me there it'll just teleport me back and even if i want to go from the top let me go to game mode creative if i wanted to go from the top as you can see like if i wanted to build across and boom it will it'll just teleport me back to the very start so it kind of sucks that i can't get in but let's say i do want to get in and i do want to buy the plot and if I do, I have to go click this button right here. And obviously, this doesn't look any appealing or anything. But um, you can make this look fancier. Anyways, as you can see, I want to buy this plot. And I click this button. But boom, I click it. And uh, I still don't have access to it. Nothing actually happens. I don't have money. That's why. On the right side of the screen, I do not have any money. And I can't buy it. So in order to give myself money, you could find ways to do that in your Minecraft from the world. But for me, I'm just going to give myself money. So scoreboard, players, add, myself money and then i can do a hundred because it costs a hundred to buy this plot or whatever you want to call it um but when i click it as you can see it takes my money away on the top left of the screen it says plots gabe dollar just bought a plot and now i'm able to walk in here freely destroy the stuff around here and it only takes one command block in here don't don't mind that but yeah as you can see i come in here place all these blocks and obviously you know you have your own plot now and other people cannot get in and this is exactly what i'm going to be showing you guys how to make today so yeah let's get right into the video so let me change my demo back to creative and once you do that um you're going to want to actually make a scoreboard that is the first thing you want to do so let me get rid of my scoreboard really quick okay there now i have no scoreboard and the first thing you want to do is make one so to do that do slash scoreboard objectives add and you can name this whatever you want i'm just going to name this money with a capital m and then after that just put dummy and then hit enter and when you have that you will have objected made and uh you won't see anything on the right side of the screen but that's okay in order to see something do slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and then money just like what you named your objective and then hit enter and now on the right side of the screen you can see you have the money thing or more money scoreboard on there and it shows no players so if you want to add players to it do slash scoreboard players sets and then you can do at e for everyone in your world or you can just do yourself so um do at s money and then zero so now i have no money but once you have your money scoreboard set up the next thing you want to do are these three commands it's slash game rule send command feedback false and slash game rule command block output false as well i spelled false wrong but that's okay and you also want to do a ticking area so do slash ticking area add circle tilde 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 four and then after this you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name this blocks but as you can see on the top left it says i already have a ticking area with the name blocks but what those three commands do are getting rid of spam from the command blocks in your chat as well as letting your command blocks have infinite range in your minecraft from a world anyways the next thing you want to do is do slash give your name command underscore block to grab a command block and the next thing you want to do is obviously that was a loud car There's a lot of cars that just went by. But anyways, the next thing you want to do is once you have your command block and before you do any of the commands, you want to make yourself a plot area. And for me, I did a, I think this is an 8x8, 1, 2, I don't even know. This is probably like an 8x8, 9x9, whatever it is. You just want to make yourself a plot area. And in the very center of it, you want to grab a command block and place it down, like a couple down like that. And obviously under these slabs, you could place deny blocks. Like right here, as you can see, I have deny blocks under here so that people cannot break them. Even the player who owns this, the um, plot cannot break them. But you have this uh, just so that, you know, people can't break them. So as a owner or something just make sure you have deny blocks so people just can't destroy people's uh, property or their border or anything but once you have your whole plot area made and mapped out just place the command block in the very center like a block below it as you can see just above it it's just grass and then anyways um this first command block is going to be a repeat unconditional always active and it's slash tp at p bracket tag equals exclamation mark and then after this exclamation mark is the name of the tag that's going to be for this specific plot for this one it's plot one and obviously if you make a second plot it could be plot plot two plot three and so on but yeah i just named this tag plot one so this is pretty much saying this first half is saying if you do not have the plot one tag then it's going to teleport you to these coordinates at the very end but anyways after you do exclamation mark and the tag you want it to be for this plot it's comma r equals 10 and bracket and then after that is a three coordinates so the x y and z chords 
and what those coordinates are are tping me to this block right here as you can see on the top of the screen it's 18 negative 60 negative 43 as well as what's in the command block it's the exact same editor gabe here i don't know why i didn't say this in the recording but the r equals 10 is the radius around the command block that teleports people away from the plot so if you count 10 blocks away from the command block left right up and down it will teleport people to the start of the plot where they cannot reach it or anything so if you have a bigger plot your radius is going to be bigger and again it'll be a repeat unconditional always active and here's the thing if you don't have the tag already it's going to remove you so if i get rid of the tag that i already have it will tp you out even if you're in creative mode it'll tp you out so just a heads up if you get scared that it tps you out just give yourself the tag so i'm going to add myself the tag and then you are now able to go into there and fix anything you want inside the plot next thing you want to do is you want to get a string of command blocks like this it's only five command blocks long one two three four or five and make sure that they are all facing the same direction or else it will not work because if they are facing different directions like this and two of them are facing up or one of them is it won't work it won't run all the commands properly so make sure you have all of them placed like that and i also have a button on the very first one again you can make this like a fancy shop so if i don't want the button there i just put a block in front of it and make a button right here on this side if you really want to but anyways this first command block is going to be an impulse unconditional needs red zone and this is the testing command block and it's so simple it's slash scoreboard players test at p money 100 meaning that it's going to test the closest player if they have 100 money and again if your scoreboard objective is completely different if it's not money what if it's coins like let's say you named your currency coins or your scoreboard coins or if you named it money with a lowercase m then just remember because it is case sensitive so because i named my scoreboard objective money with a capital m it's going to be that in the command block and pretty much just testing if the closest player who buys this or clicks this button has 100 money and i don't have it so that's why nothing's going to happen the second command block is going to be a chain conditional always active and make sure this is conditional because if it's un conditional then that means it will make it'll run this command block and get rid of your money even if you don't have a hundred let me show you guys for an example if i do unconditional here and i click this button it will take me into the negatives and a lot of people have been complaining that my tutorials don't work because it takes them into the negatives it's probably because your command block is in unconditional and not conditional if you don't know conditional means that this block will not run unless this block actually works so again change this to chain conditional always active and this command block is slash scoreboard players remove at p money 100 so what this first one is doing is that it's testing if you have 100 money and if you have 100 money it will run this command and it removed the 100 money and then this third command block is the add tag so it's a chain conditional always active and it's slash tag at p bracket r equals six and bracket add plot one which is again is the name of the tag for that specific plot and again you can change it to plot two three and so on but yeah i just have the radius of six because if you are in the radius like six blocks so one two three four five six if you're in this little radius right here these six blocks and you'll be able to buy it and not anyone who's outside of it like you don't want anyone back here being able to buy the plot that you just wanted to buy the next command block is plot and for this hovering out on the top left i have it sauce a sauce out plots because this is what's going to say in the chat for everyone to see it'll say plots and then your name and then just bought a plot and again this is a chain conditional always active and this is slash say at p and then i did sauce b sauce l just bought a plot and let me show you exactly what that looks like if i give myself money really quick scoreboard players sets myself money 100 as you can see when i have 100 money and i click it on the top left of the screen it'll say plots gabe dollar just bought a plot and that's what this is doing it's saying plot and it'll tell me that the closest player just bought a plot so that's what this command block is doing and the last one is going to be a chain conditional always active and this one is just so simple it's a sound effect and it's slash play sound random dot level up at p and what this is doing is it's playing a sound effect after all these commands run i'll play the sound effect of me pretty much leveling up and why i like sound effects so much at the end of command blocks it's that it's letting the player know that the transaction was complete again i'll show you guys that this works let me get rid of my tag really quick so tag myself remove plot one and i do scoreboard players set my name money 100 as you can see i have 100 money when i click it it'll make a sound effect it'll say i just bought a plot and i'll get rid of my money and i'm able to go inside this plot let me get rid of my tag again to show you guys that this works tag myself remove plot one and now i'm not able to even go in it'll just teleport me back right in this little area but yeah that is a video and if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and hopefully this did help you guys out for your minecraft realm or world servers again you can make multiple plots as much as you want and just do this in like you know you could spread this out wherever you want in your world but yeah before i go youtube is recommending this video to you guys and I'm sure you guys will enjoy it as well as this one. But yeah, um, besides that, my name's Gabe, and I'm out. Peace.